Hey there, I'm Teja, and this is a mini tarot reading for you. So, um, and it'll there'll be a couple oracle cards too, one tarot card and two oracle cards. So just a mini reading. Okay. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles reversed. This can be talking about coming out of a time of being single, because the nine of pentacles is all about being a solitary woman usually. Usually it applies to a female. So, um, yeah, so it looks like you might be coming out of singlehood for what it's worth. And this can also be about a, a cautionary note to remember that you do have to believe in your worth. And you might still find a relationship even if you don't, but believing in your worth is going to accelerate the process of finding the love that you seek. Because that's another theme that we associate, self-worth is a theme that we associate with the Nine of Pentacles. So let's get an oracle card really quick. Okay. Child of the Moon. Forgiveness and transcending the ego. So let's see here. So um, I'll show you closer. I don't need to hold it in front of my face. What was I thinking? So Child of the Moon, you're a very spiritual person. You have a lot of feminine energy that rises within you and connects you to the cosmic spheres like the moon, the sun, the other planets. And um, the card was talking about forgiveness and transcending the ego. So those are other messages you can take to heart um, when you watch this, if you get this particular reading. Um, and then I would also say that just remember to have an open heart and if you are in doubt of anything, maybe have a conversation with the moon, just an internal kind of dialogue next time you see the moon. I feel like the moon has a message for you. So that might be helpful to dialogue with her. Okay. And then we have Liberator. This card, um, I'll show you in a second. Um, so it says light attributes, which are freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thought patterns. Shadow attributes, imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate, ignoring legitimate constraints. So you have something in you that is powerful and that is wanting to break free. So this is both about liberating yourself and about liberating others. And with the shadow components, I wouldn't worry too much about that, but I think it is important to keep in mind whenever you're working in an industry or even if it's just a project um, that involves helping assist others, are you doing this for you or are you doing this for them? And if you're doing it for them, are you asking them how they want you to show up or are you showing up in a way that is your idea of what they need, you know, like imposing, you know, um, yeah. So that was your mini tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye-bye.